to counter to anything where they're under plays. So, very interesting pick coming out from. Okay, guys, uh, sorry about the weird stuff, um, but here we are. We are live, and let us know if there's any glitches or situations that we need to know about. Uh, just tell me it's fits, right? That's correct. That's correct. Fits. Okay, and great. Uh, and I'm, you must yeah. I'm, I'm the anonymous. Um, I'm yeah, nice. one of the casters for South African casters. We just finished our game that we casted now. And they uh, yeah, are rated you and then saw there was some issues. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Well, I appreciate that. Good timing. Yeah. No problem. Cool, man. Yeah, so quite keen to see what happens with Cardia. Yeah, they've taken a bit of a beating here and there in CML so far, but they've been close a few times. So I don't think there's much in it, to be honest. Oh, great arrow landing bottom here from ET on the cleaner. I wasn't expecting a pos 5 silencer. That is brave in a lane like this. They can bully them a bit, but uh, no stun in this lane might be something to watch as the levels start to go up. Yeah, no, that's definitely something that you need to be looking out for. A lot of harass going to come out from this Mars and the Marana. Yeah. This mid matchup should be quite fine for Wei. Um, he's going to be able to just, you know, two two levels in Dragon Blood already. He's got a Fairy Fire, Bracer, three Tangos. He's not getting out of this lane uh, anytime soon. I think he's going to dominate the puck quite heavily. Um, in terms of last hits, yeah, you can see he's already 10 last hits ahead of Condensed Mulf. This is quite brutal start, to be honest. Yeah, no, this is uh, the start you want to see. Yeah, yeah. DK, uh, a bit of a boring pick, but a strong pick. You know, always strong. He's very strong in the current uh, stages of the game. He goes meme hammer, and then he's pretty damn hard to beat, eh? Um... Mm. Just a Top question, lane. Obert says mm. the CM, it must be a CML record, and I see top lane is being Yeah, a bit of a fight up there. Yeah. What, what is a CML record? Uh, Way might not get tipped two games in a row. Who's Wei? <laughs> uh, that's the mid on the side of Cod Pandemonium. He, uh, ah. he gets tipped a lot. I don't know if it's from his pub exploits, where he's made some friends, or... Uh, <laughs> Well, where it comes from, but a lot of the teams in CML love to tip uh, all the way when he's having a hard time. Oh, well, that's, that's nice. 
but <laughs> I think it might be a whole different story in this game. His mid matchup is Oof. very strong. 24 against yeah. 7 last hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's dominating completely. But last deal is having a, a pretty okay time top. Uh, uh, despite. Not yet. Oof, as I say <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> I was having a look at the last hits and denies and cheapers. He, he gets killed. Yeah, he was a bit greedy there. Shouldn't have uh, gone so close to the tree line. Um, even though Noodle pops down a tree just to make sure he gets that shackle on. Very, very good uh, play from him there, securing that kill. Yeah, we've seen a bit of a swap for COD here in terms of their post 3 and their 4. Noodles being the preferred 3 for most games. Uh, but they've done a bit of a swap. I know they are interchangeable, so I'm interested to see how this goes. Johnny Potts on this uh, Centaur, looking strong already. Yeah, Centaur is always a rough one to go up against. The damage, uh, the damage reduction as well as the damage return is not very nice. Um, I do like this Life Stealer pick up against the tanky team um, that they're going up against. What are the two teams' names? I don't even know. We're dealing with COD Pandemonium and uh, Feeders Stay United, or FSU. Okay, so FSU and COD. Where's COD? <laughs> okay, that's who, it. Who's, who's, okay, so FSU is Lifestealer's side. And, 100%. Oh, Ferb's going down very low, but the movement's slow from Havelock. Oh, ah. goes down. The shackle oh. though, man. But Havelock going for a kill still. Um, Johnny Pot trying to run away, but yeah, I think he's probably going to do it. Oof. Oh, getting a bit of extra movement speed Very from that enrage, close. but he's not going to. No. Brave. Brave, but not brave enough. Yeah. He hasn't got the face with yet. We see yeah. ET has come to condensed milk to give him a bit of a mana pot and some regen. But Oof, sure. losing the mana immediately though, staying in range and just, yeah, allowing yeah. that clarity to get, to get spoiled. Yeah, no, that was rough. What's up, KZ? Thank you for joining, man. Oh, some nice damage coming out there on this Mars, but both of them yeah. have mana now. Yeah. Mars not doing terribly on the farm either. I mean, you know, he's overtaken. He's overtaken the, his counterpart, the Centaur. So, doing pretty well. Which is quite strange because uh, they've done quite a number on this top lane on the side of. Oh my goodness! This is going to be a kill. Yeah. Nah. Oof. Ferb's getting out. Oh, but a kill happening mid on condensed Mulf. While well, ET bottom getting a kill on the cleaner on the pos five, so good exchange across the board for COD in general, I guess. Taking out a mid and losing a pos five, bit of solo XP for Zol. Hope he manages to stay in lane and get some last hits. I think it should be fine. He's got good regen. Should be fine. He's a Bloodseeker is generally a hero that you can leave a bit, um, especially. Against heroes that don't have hard lockdown. Oh, and down goes Johnny Pot. That's a great kill from Havelock. We see a mid rotation from the Marana. Haste on condensed milk. Gets that courier kill. Because I know he can't get way right now. Way is damn tanky. Jeez, okay. 1.5k HP against the 7k HP, uh, 700 HP of condensed milk. They're pulling three people. And Wei just walks out, doesn't even struggle. This guy's a tanky boy, man. Johnny Pot needs to be careful. There's a lot of slows. Look at this. Are they gonna die for this? They are not. Verb's in a bit of trouble. It's gonna get out alright. And I see ET has rotated mid. 
just to help out, but the cleaner comes up as well. Yeah, Noodle's putting in a lot of work. He's making sure his team comes out alive. Mid tower does go down nine minutes into this game. This ultimate of DK just wrecks to a tower and there's nothing that FSU could have done at that stage unless they rotate everyone, but they don't want to do that. Hadlock needs to be careful. He's a bit, bit low. Yeah. Oh, getting caught rage. by noodles. Gonna use it. Try and get on top of the noodles, but noodles gonna be able to run into the trees. And they don't have lockdown themselves, so they're gonna turn it. They're gonna come and. Oh, what a beautiful nice uh, shallow grave. Yeah. Man. Still gonna die though. Just 3v3v2. Three three Waylander immediately tipping bottom to see if he can help get the kill here. Zol though, staying very low. Miss. Oh, Mars, I've seen him miss two of these the spears. So. Oh, clean up falling. Oh, Mars just tipping up. The lockdown, the lockdown factor we spoke about. Yeah. Puck suffering here. Yo. Okay, that, no items on this puck. That looked very good. Uh, it's a good escape, I have to say, from FSU. The fact that they got away there um, and didn't lose anybody bottom was quite something. That is they managed to quite get a kill. something. Be positive. I am just quickly going to go over game minimized. What's happening? Okay. Report <laughs> is being called. I agree. We cannot just agree. pause the game as there is a fight going on on the side of Johnny Pot Oof. being smacked. He yeah. does have stun, but Lifestealer does have rage. So. Also, we've got Vanguard up though, and Lifestealer's not got much in the way of damage. They no do blast, have though. a lot of poison Ooh, damage. Magi. With the poison True, there's touch. the Blatty as well. Yeah. Blatty's sitting on the, the um, rage there, but on the dazzle. Right now. Oh, he's got it now. Oh, noodles, noodles just making so much work, but the slow is just yeah. way too much. Yeah, way too much. There's going to have to be some BKBs on the side of COD if they want to keep this pressure up. Yep. Um, there's no ways they can deal with this stun. Waylander, though, looking to just push bottom lane, take tower. Yeah, that's it's all about map pressure. That's what you want to do when you've got your uh, dragon form up. Currently does additional poison damage, and then he's going to get his splash attack. But that poison mm. damage does do quite a lot. And Burps Burps, killing noodle. My goodness. Guessing you wanted to go back to base for that dive, anyways. Yeah. How's this Mars looking item wise? <sighs> Rushing that blink, which is. It's good. It's going to help with the setup for sure. But in terms of tanking, this the side of FSU has got not much. Yeah, that on is. The side of COD, we've got a Vanguard on Centaur, and we've got a mid Waylander who is almost unkillable at the moment. And that's definitely true. But if you look at um, the KDA, Mars hasn't died yet, so he hasn't had the need for that much of a tank at this stage, which is true. Fine. Oh, and he's rushed a meme hammer. Yes, Interesting. Which is a brilliant item. Yep, it's gonna drop it now. Oh, this is a brilliant. Oh, but this is a good counter from Cod. It's a great counter from Cod. Oh, should be going Puck down. some though. damage on the back and gonna go look at Silencer. What a great turn from Cod Pandemonium. Great turn. It's just the tankiness they have to, to just sit through that. So I did see that Mars only activated his meme hammer quite a while after his arena stopped and usually you want to combo that yeah. with the arena spear and yeah. the meme hammer into that combo and you're stunned for quite a while. I mean, the spear, yep. the spear... I haven't so seen him land a spear if I'm honest. 2.800 now. Landing those. Okay. So the spear 
stuns for 2.6 seconds and the meme hammer stuns for 1.2 so you stun for about four seconds that's uh, plenty is yeah, a, in a dota game damn long time <laughs> that's an eternity yeah. in a dota game yeah okay Ferb putting the poison touch onto hoodwink who manages to get the shackle shot onto havelock but he's gonna die oh, body block. way too many poison stacks right now oh no Ferb's nope, Ferb's one in kill oh yeah these two just love killing each other, or at least being in fights where they both die. Yep, that what is true. What a battle we're seeing here. <laughs> yeah. Great battle we've seen between the two of them here. Noodles and Ferbs. Yeah, and Real if, we look at, if we look at the last hits and the nice currently, the puck is really struggling. Still half of the last hits of the DK. And yeah. really needs to make that count. And each T goes down to the Bloodseeker. Yes. There we have a. This pack is still so far away from its blink. It does have this is haste. really. Yeah, but just so far away from items, it's quite something. And I mean, you've got a DK with two or three items already. Yeah, DK is uh, DK. quite hectic. Yeah, then he's looking for. Oh, he's gonna get him. No ah, good rage. Misses. Good rage. Yeah. This life stealer has gotten away with so little help so many times with that rage. Very he is the hope here, yeah. and there are some incredible stacks coming in on the side here of FSU. So one thing they have made sure of is to keep stacking um, and keep their their life stealer fed, which is you know 20 last hits ahead of the Bloodseeker. So yep, staying in this game despite absolutely you know getting desolated mid. So well played to FSU, I must say. I wonder if he's going to go for open wounds. Um, does quite a lot of damage and sustain. Ooh. Down goes very far. Missed. We missed that. I missed that completely. But obviously gank coming in and um, finally the governor getting a kill. And mid as well drops the puck, man. So fast. Jeez. Yeah, I must say the rotations from COD have been brilliant compared to what I've seen in previous games um, the midway way finally you know getting that anchor off his foot and getting to top and bottom to really make a difference in this game being so aggressive now he really is because I mean they can be they've got so much oh, tank. Look at this damage Jeez. yeah this governor will fall he will he's got it yep yep he does Huck. well ET managed to kill the cleaner but to he gets noodles, but I mean, what on earth is Johnny Spot doing? Oh man, look how tanky he is. He doesn't care. Yeah. Funny, yo. Feels like COD were watching old G earlier today, the way they're playing. Oof. Yeah. Arrow just missing mid here. And all of this while last year he was farming. He's on 90. And last first time he's at top of the net worth. I mean, Last hits the Nas at least. Let's have a look at net worth actually. Where he's not too far behind our uh, DK. Not at all. If you look at the kills though, DK is standing on two with seven assists. Yeah. Oh, and they've caught him. Nice. There's no BKB. They should be Meme able to Hammer bring him down here. In. Meme Hammer doing the work. Is Waylander going to drop? Surely. This is quite something. Yep, second bit of uh, poison touch coming in and getting the kill. Noodles all the while doing some big damage onto everybody. Puck trying to hit the back lines, but not able to get any kills, and everybody managed to get away. Johnny Pot, though, not <laughs> looking for more. Bloodseeker should be able to get Yeah. Ah, uh, this, yeah. There you go. Bloodseeker thrives in situations like that. Cleaner he falling quite him. easily. Ferbs is going to suffer here and probably die. Oh, ET focusing on noodles and oh, good arrow. Gonna be able to pick off noodles. But ET really? in a lot of trouble. Oh, good, great um, leap there onto the edge. I must say. But this has created a lot of space uh, for Mr. Lifestealer, who is creeping up to the top of the net worth very fast. Yeah, all this fighting for Wayland is good. It's put a lot of early map pressure, a lot of early game pressure, but. He needs to keep his farm up. Um, 
that he can keep that pressure on. He needs that PKB. He needs it. He definitely does. You can see he's got it lined up, so after shard, parts will be a little bit easier for him. And he's picked up a shard, so he now has fireball. That is going to be quite brutal in the Mars ulti, if I'm honest. Um, Mars is going to throw down Arena, and yeah, Wayland is just going to throw down a fireball inside there. And that is quite a radius. About the same size almost. Uh, about 200, so it's a bit more than half of the radius of the arena. This is quite a huge stack that's going down here, but struggling to take it. They're going to TP top for a fight. Ulti coming in from Marana. Can they get the jump here? They want to. They've all come in. They do have a have lock. here. So if he steps into provision, focus. he's going to die, but they're going to see this. Oh, that's a beautiful three. arena. Well three. Oh, this done. is going to be a double kill. At least a double kill. Perhaps even Johnny Pot to go down for, for three. And the silencer for four. This has been a great rotation from FSU. Well played. That was brilliant. And DK. Where is he? DK was Did he manage to get out? Was he was he there? Was he farming jungle? Was I he... think he was farming stacks. Oof, he's the tower pusher in the team. He should have been there. Yeah, but that was a bit far away. He doesn't have TP boots yet, so for him to get there would have been a bit hard. True. It was just a great wraparound from FSU. That was. They made their decision and they jumped in there and got the kills. It was brilliant. Waylander, no mana. Gotta be a bit cautious here. But, card all pulling in. And the tower gone. So I don't think FSU will hang around here for a fight. They don't need to. Stacks are gonna be the priority, yep. Yeah. They're all gonna pull them together. Life Stealer, top of the network. Yep, he is now top of the network. And he's just gonna continue farming. Uh, Bloodseeker knows that he's on low health, so might be looking at going, but they are trying to wrap around, but they're not gonna get there in time. Oh. Oof, so close. <laughs> yeah, so just misses. DKB, you're gonna come out for life stealer as well. Jeez, these fights are gonna be impossible to lock him down. Rage, uh, uh BKB, it's definitely gonna make a big difference. I've seen it before in some program, pro games, mostly in pubs they won't double up on the um, spell immune, but pro games are not afraid to drop yeah. a BKB just after a rage. So me and CL have a saying in uh, pub games, if you use BKB you're a sissy. <laughs> and Trust on me, that is quite like, come on, I mean, you don't play yeah. life dealer with freaking a BKB, <laughs> But in pro yeah. games uh, like this, you definitely need a lot of lockdown. Look at the damage this DK is doing to this tower and to the creeps, man. It's Another it. wraparound going from the side of FSU. But can't have the objective, so they're going to get out of here. Cleaner TPing out. Um, we got a Johnny Pot TPing out. They're going to go bottom and push the lane out and try perhaps find the kill on Havelock. Yeah, they are. He's out already. That. But he knows. He's just yeah, going to take farm and then he's going to go. They do draw out where they think he might be, but that's just out of the position of where he actually yeah. is farming. FSU really doing well to move around the map. Yes, they're going to lose towers to DK, of course, but, you know, they, they, they're finding farm. They are finding farm. Uh, DK is... I mean, DK and Bloodseeker are so close together on net worth, just yeah, below Havelock on this um, yeah. Nightmare Stealer, so they need to be careful. Another wraparound coming, massive stun onto three. Oof. Johnny Pot, that was brilliant. But I think he's going to fall here anyway. Oh, oh no, beautiful four staff coming in from the cleaner uh, to get the Johnny Pot out of there, and he will fall anyway. Ulti coming in from Zol onto Puck. Puck will fall here. Nope, no, stay Puck with the juke. Puck with the juke. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant juke from Puck. Stunning our boy Zol directly down the river. Directly. And that is a 3 for 0 trade. They are. Might Ooh. find Zol here. 
That was quite a brilliant fight from FSU. I thought Cod had that. Waylander getting caught in the trees. No BKB up, but he's dangerous. So guys, you're gonna have to do a lot to bring him down here. I wouldn't but stand in that fire. Oh, never mind. Stand in the fire all you want. Out from Life Stealer, and that just saves the day. Yeah. Man, a Life Stealer is a great counter to DK, to DK and to Scent, for that matter. Of yeah. Fact. You so, called it early on. You did. Man. I love a life stealer game. It's something that I enjoy mm. playing. I mean, you play up against these tank heroes. It's even yeah. better. Deso, Armlet, BKB. Um, brilliant. It's been a really, really good performance from Havelock to get some farm on a map that was really tough early game, eh? Wow. It was definitely really tough. And if you look at Quantum, no, he actually caught up on the net worth, not quite at the level of the DK, but he's standing at 7.5, so just 1.5 uh, behind, uh, sorry, 2.5 behind the DK, which is a whole item, but at least he's not Don't for Kaya and Sainz, though, what do you think of that? I don't like it. No, I think, I think our pack needs a save item. Um, Yules, maybe, or, I don't know. Not just a save item, I mean, just an initiation or something like a silence or... But yeah. Kai and Sanj, you already have a team doing damage. You don't need to do more damage right now. Mm. You need to be able to outlive in a team fight. If you disable the Bloodseeker for a few seconds in a fight, you've got the upper hand already. Or even if you look at Johnny Pot, if he mm. blinks in and you yules him, he's going to be fine. Yep, true. I suppose a Yules would be a good utility item on a support here versus the DK. Oh, good silence coming in from uh, from the cleaner to start this fight. They're going to pick up the kill on Havelock quite easily. Burst him. This is quite a chaotic fight here, but here it's falling on both sides. This oh, but Waylander massive. focusing down. Oh, just about a team wipe here. Beautiful from the puck to get away. Yeah, that was a but brilliant smoke. Mm. Really brilliant. Man. That's okay, a so smoke happening. So this, mm. this puck is getting away more, which is a good thing. He needs to be able to escape, especially as a puck. Mm. Sure. Well, picking up double damage. This would be a great time to rush. But I nobody from COD yes. thinking about that. Maybe take tier 2, then go rush immediately. But by that time, these guys will be up, so... Governor is stunned. Governor is smacked, and Governor is down. Yep. Six. All of them coming seven. in here, though. And we have a BKB up, a nine-second BKB up on the live stealer. So, okay. Crimson Guard. Oops. Waylander BKB TPing in. Brilliant shallow guy coming in on condensed milk, but will fall anyway. These shallow grades have been amazing. Yeah, they have been really good. Good silence from the cleaner. This fight going away of from pandemonium. But he's, but he's gonna alone. have to get out. Yep. He's got no team. They don't have a frontliner without the Mars who fell first, unfortunately. Yeah, that was uh, quite unfortunate. Yeah, that's gonna be a nine second BKB gone on our on our life stealer. And this opens up Roche. They could go now. They should go now. BKB down on Life Stealer. Uh, I think, yeah, Fox used Coil. Arena's up now, but they can still easily go Roche. It looks like they are making their way there. Yeah, they are. But um, FSU will know because they've just run straight past all of the creeps mid. So, you know, let's see how that goes. They are not going to rush. They're going to kind of position themselves around the rush, but it seems. I think they want to have FSU run that rush first to counter-initiate. But right now, Lifesteal is falling a bit behind the Bloodseeker. Yeah. And if we look at the kills, Bloodseeker sitting on 8 kills, 2 deaths. Lifestealer 6-3. But surprisingly, Marana is on 7 and 3 as a support. Yeah, she's got great escape, naturally. 
So we've got the shard reveal there from, uh, oh, okay. Smoke play coming in. Arrow landing on Wayland, but that's not the target you want. No, that's definitely not the target you want. No, okay. Life stealer inside of Mars. Mars coming with a bomb. He's going to land on both supports. This is an easy double kill. That's what you want. Oh. Have locked. You're going to have to get out of here. You can't stand in that fire. He's you cannot. He's, he's being cut to pieces. But look but at the life, life steal from him. Oh, and his rage is just keep him alive and team wipe. What an incredible turnaround fight from the start and of FSU. This should be an easy rush for them. Yes. I cannot believe what I've seen there, to be quite honest with you. Um, that, that was amazing. I really yeah. thought Lifestealer was down there, but the save from Ferds have been insane. Definitely MVP on the side of FSU. Without him, this game would have been impossible. I agree, 100%. The heal has been phenomenal. Also going for GG boots, so... There will be more heal to come. Also, I must say, great omelette pop from uh, Lifesteal in that last fight. Uh, great rage timing. Lifesteal really brought out the, the stops there as well in his timing. So, well played in that fight all around FSU. Yeah, no, that was a good fight. And Mars did that initiation onto both supports, popping them almost immediately. And that, that was, was needed. No, if they, yeah. if they didn't get that, it would have been a lot harder. The silent, the holds, I mean, that just, that just yeah. wrecks the team. Noodles has been quite something on that rat, so um, yeah, they had to kill rat and silence to get rid of the ulti quick, quick. Yeah, and they did that, they did do that very well indeed. We do see uh, Scent also going for GG Boots. Uh, we see that DK is going for his ags right now. I'm not sure what silencer is going for, has thousand gold in the bank, so could go for. I don't know if he also wants to go GG Boots, but I doubt that you want two on the same team. Uh, uh, he's going to be going A on disc, I think. Yeah, I think he just lined that up. Um, our silencer, so he's going to, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. A bit of survivability. After that last fight, that makes sense. No, definitely. You don't want him to pop and give the team all the space. Oh, the there's the silence. They're going to cut that out now. So, Mars Arena for. BKB pop on DK. I think and that's the silence. It. And, and the silence. silence alt. That's a huge cooldown. We got 100 seconds without that. We got 170 seconds without a BKB on DK. And Mars' okay. cooldown is nothing on that LT. Oh, at goodness. That yeah, beautiful. They're onto Waylander here and they're doing all of the damage. He's taking it. He's getting carted to pieces. And he's going to be taken down by Havelock. Johnny Pot now getting carted, being turned into a, a frog. I cannot believe how this Havelock has stood his ground after being so low. Him and Zol now are just going to fight it out. And they're going to dive into the tower, tier 3s. They'll get the kill easily on the cleaner, but they must back now. Oh, wow. For everything falling apart here for Cod Pandemonium. As Havelock and the side of FSU take full advantage of that... Um, Baited out BKB and Silence out. Yeah, and that they still have ages, so they can push tier three. Yeah, that was a brilliant bait from the Mars. They baited it out, they waited it out, they engaged at the tier two, dived them, and got four kills. Really good play. And now they're going to push high ground. This is not the way I thought this game was going. This feels throwy. It does seem a bit throwy. Okay, but uh, condensed milk getting a little bit too cocky up on the high ground. This cut Phantom Money team can still hurt you. Good LT from Marana coming in. Oh, and the bash. Oh, but he's invis. He's invis. What a what save. A brilliant LT from Marana. Who is Marana? Let's, let's give this person Eat T. Great LT coming through there from Eat T. Yeah, she's got a spirit vessel. That is also a brilliant combination against Johnny Pot and Wei. I'm wondering where's Mars. the tips, man. Yeah, I don't think FSU have been in the uh, have been in the league to know that that's a thing. If I'm honest with you, 
think they kind of okay, knew. Well, we'll give them a heads up after this game. Yeah, yeah. Just to know for next time. But to be honest, this game could still swing either way. A 1k lead only on FSU. Uh, a lot of damage still going to come out from the side of Cod Pandemonium. And it feels like these fights are on an edge. So. No, definitely. The fight can go either mm. way, and depending on mm. who they pick off. But right now, FSU are focusing on those support pickoffs so far. So it's really been brilliant. Um, I do see there's about a five level difference on the side of FSU, which is quite a big difference if you're going up against these teams. True. Very true. Noodles sitting on level 14. Oh, another Mars ult coming in. But Cod able to turn this one quite well. Havelock with a BKB though. And Havelock's just gonna right click his way into Way. Oh, look at this. Meteor Hammer coming out onto Waylander. He's gonna fall. Johnny Pot gonna fall. The Governor gonna kill Zol. This is as good as done. That's another team wipe. Another team wipe. What a massive What an fight. incredible turnaround. Yeah, I must say, FSU showing incredible mid-game ingenuity uh, i'd say you know just getting into the getting into the jungle stacking creeps making space for this life stealer who is now honestly just a huge problem that is definitely true and uh, on top of that they're making use of all of their timings they checking their alts combining them together life stealer getting into the governor making sure that the bomb works out perfectly and they go on to the supports every single time man that is just yeah. so good and it works out for them that is what yep. you need to win this game yeah and uh the fact that they're able to go into the supports means positioning from cod could have probably been better but also the wards coming down from the side of fsu i think have been even better i mean look at fobs just throwing a couple of wards quite deep um yeah it's been quite a Quite a good performance, I think, from Fobs. Ferbs, big upon. So the, the net hey. worth is swinging up and down the whole time, but now that FSU have gotten their timings and gotten to a comfortable space, they've got the lead with a 10k net worth lead, which is amazing yeah. from where they came. Yep, it's rather incredible. Um, for after that landings phase where we had a DK who was running a mock, um, took three or four towers before 15 20 minutes you know um now we're sitting at 36 minutes and cod have lost their mid racks <laughs> quite is quite an incredible turnaround i must say in the last 15 minutes definitely a massive turnaround just yeah. to give you an update on net worth um way is currently on 200 net worth lead over the puck who had a massive wow. deficit of 5k and then this is quite days. something and they're mm. just continuing with building up that lead brilliant work but brilliant obviously work. on top havelock with 10 kills three deaths uh life stealer 10 kills four deaths a lot of last hits and second on the net worth chart at this stage yeah it's been a good performance from zol uh zol and havelock really haven't put many feet wrong uh, as the two carries in this game. I uh, must say, it's just been about some of these fights. Um, you know, really, like as you mentioned earlier, um, everything combining really, really well for FSU. The ultis, the timings, the baits, the, it's just been really, really good play. Definitely really good play from both of these teams. And I wonder Johnny. who's going to make the next play, though. I mean, does Johnny Pot hold for Barback, or does he get GG boots? Oh, and he's got GG boots. This is dangerous. This is very dangerous. They are going to threaten. This is very dangerous. And Let's we have see a look. the bomb combo again. Govern that. There's one. There's two Barbacks on the side of Cod. This is quite something. If they lose a the fight now, the game is over. And a beautiful blink in and bomb again, again. from Mars. And they're going to destroy Way on the back line. And they're going to take down Silence. Uh, this is GG. They're going to be able to clean them up here. Havelock with BKB and Rage just piling into Zol. But great stun coming out from Johnny Pot, who's going to probably die for his save there. I think. Yep. 
FSU going back now to focus on the objectives and close this one out. Yep. Six, 16k lead. That blink bomb of Mars LT just doesn't give anybody on the side of Cod Pandemonium a time to react. Ooh, back nearly mistiming that into the fountain. They're going straight for the end. Yep, straight thrown. There's no barbacks. And if they manage to kill... Ooh, Zol getting forced forward and he's gonna die. That's... He does have barback. He's gonna have to barback. Yeah, he does. But, but no the Ancient no going down. There is no stopping this. GG. Well played, FSU. Yeah, what a great comeback. A really good game made sure even though they struggled in the beginning in most lanes they made sure life stealer had space to farm and that was their win condition and that pulled through so well done to fsu for winning this game yep the cml ladder match fsu taking a victory here against cod pandemonium and if we look at the graph ugh, it wasn't really a throw from cod actually well, I can't see the win probability. I just see net worth and experience. Yeah, the, um, it, it wasn't a throw. It was a very smart use of timings on the side of FSU. If they let that game go on a bit longer, I think Bloodseeker would have become a lot of a bigger problem as well as Dragon Knight. Um, but they didn't. They made sure they hit the timings and they made sure that they end the game before they do become a problem. So that was absolutely brilliant, brilliant game from the guys at FSU. Uh, okay, Who would take your MVP? Who would take your MVP there, Mr. Anonymous? My MVP goes to Dazzle, hands down. Made amazing saves that really made those team fights last a lot longer than they should and saving a ton of teammates. So Dazzle, you get my MVP over there. And for you, Fitz? Uh, I have to agree 100%. Um, Dazzle made all the space top, made all the saves. Um, was positioning was incredible. I think he got caught out just a couple of times in bad positions, but mostly couldn't get killed and kept his team alive. So, you know, his team have a lot to be grateful for there. And I also like to see how many uh, stacks these guys camped. I mean, other way around, camps these guys stacked because there were a few. No, Ten no. stacked camps on Marana. No, that no. is incredible. No, that that's really well done um, to the side of yeah. FSU. 40 to 25, 39 minute game end. Um, clean game was a bit rough start but they really did very very well yep i have to agree thanks for allowing me to cast here i'll have to try and sort out my internet issues or just come co cast with you every night again really enjoyable man no problem i'll i'll hit you up uh, tomorrow i'll give you some tips i've got an app that makes life a bit easier especially with the sa internet that's pretty shit Appreciate it, yeah. Please send me that stuff. Shut Cheers, Mr. Anonymous. everyone. Have yourself Catch a you great later. evening, and we'll see you again probably tomorrow. Thank yeah, you so enough, much. Thanks. Cheers.